So in the overnight session, we saw a false breakdown attempt. And then from there, buyers pushed ES to yet another fresh all-time high up at 37.23. Now heading into the open or intermediate and bigger picture bias continues to be bullish while the short-term bias is neutral bullish. And as long as buyers can hold ES above the 36.99 quarter to 37.06.75 initial support, which we're also using as the bull bear zone, the buy side can remain in control and there would still be potential for a breakout continuation beyond the 16 to 19 initial resistance zone as well as the overnight high at 37.22 to 23. And if buyers are holding ES above the more aggressive area of support of 37.11 to 13 quarter, that would just signal continued strength. Now, in order to get an upside breakout continuation move, we would need to see continued broad market strength and sustained upside momentum in real time. So how the market behaves today is really going to depend on whether buyers can now hold ES above that 36.99 quarter to 37.06.75 area. As long as the market can hold above the zone, the bullishness would remain in play. And in the event that we got a breakdown below the bull bear zone on broad market weakness and sustained downside momentum, that could be the beginning of a false breakout pattern. And in that situation, we could quite easily liquidate into 36.91 half to 95, where it would make sense to exercise caution because if the market is indeed in liquidation mode, then it doesn't have to stop at 36.91 half to 95. And in that scenario, we could see a move lower into the 36.77 quarter to 83 quarter area where buyers can be active on first test. So anytime the market gets exhausted into one of the zones below 36.91 half, buyers can be active on first test. And lastly, today marks options expiration and quadruple witching.